Clearly I am tired. You can <laughs> see it all over my face. My lips are still super swollen and uneven up here. Today was a really great day in the sense of I announced Jack and Roxanne. I am beyond excited, but as of this current moment, I am so frustrated and I just feel like there's something about this series where I am like so much more open with you guys than I have been in years. This is the kind of stuff that I like don't talk about on Twitter or Instagram or anything like that. But I just feel like a sense of community here with you guys. And I also feel like there's such a little judgment here out of nowhere, which is so amazing. <laughs> I posted my reveal video today on YouTube and the feedback has been insane. I was not expecting the engagement. I was not expecting the amount of excitement. If you do anything like big or small, it's like you have like those insecurities within yourself and you don't think that it's gonna be like that great even though you believe in it you're like people probably aren't gonna like this you know also I cannot help it I don't care if I'm getting thousands and thousands and thousands of positive comments the hate comments are getting to me so bad right now like I am just so sick and tired of people telling me to ignore the hate and telling me like oh like they're just they're just haters and they're just mean and you're better than that and don't focus on that it used to be like i would get 100 positive comments and one mean comment would hurt me that's not how it is anymore but when i see hundreds of mean comments having like 500 to a thousand thumbs up and likes i don't understand it because i've never been that person i've never been hateful on social media i've never left a nasty comment to somebody before i've never discouraged somebody from achieving their dreams it's so frustrating it's so frustrating and people's being like oh jacqueline qvc hill that's a big thing it's people's being like oh this is just a cash grab sure yeah that's why i've been working on this for two years and bought a gigantic warehouse and spent millions of dollars is just for a quick cash grab. You got me. <laughs> it's so crazy. And people bring up my lipstick, so I'm not gonna buy it because of her lipsticks. I'm like, that's fine. If you lost your trust in me because of what happened with my lipsticks, okay, like I get it. Why are you still around? If you lost all your trust in me, why are you still around making comments about me? Why are you still talking about me? Ooh, I don't get it. When I don't like someone, I literally unfollow them and I never go back. I'm just in my feels right now. I'm really frustrated. <laughs> because working so hard on something to see these kinds of comments, it just, it, it sucks. It sucks so bad. And I know there's so much positivity and I'm so thankful for that. But right now I'm not focused on positivity. I'm pissed off. I am, I'm just pissed off. I'm hungry. I've gained two pounds in the last three days, even though I feel like I'm starving. Not over here, like actually starving, but like I've just been eating like three perfect meals a day of just like vegetables, a little fruit on the side and a little protein and like no snacking. And I've gained two pounds and I'm so angry. Also, the amount of people talking about how, you know, like I can't trust her because everything she's ever done has just been, you know, X, Y, and Z. It's like, well, also everything I've ever done has also included other people. There's always been partnerships and there's always been collaborations. You guys have never seen me do me. You guys have never seen me with my own customer service in my own warehouse. What can I, I can actually walk in and say, what's going on? I can package package today. I can take customer service calls today. I've never had that. This is a new thing. I'm not saying that it's not gonna have errors. It will. There's gonna be some people who receive a package and like, oh, this was damaged, you know? It's gonna happen. Like that's industry standard, but still it's like I'm able to have control this time, which is so exciting and it's so different. And I'm prepared to take on the issues that come along with Jacqueline Roxanne because I'm gonna be able to have full control over it. The way that I'm able to respond and my brand is able to respond and that's super exciting. So I'm gonna go eat so much pasta. I am done. I am so done. The fact that I have literally barely eaten anything in the past couple of days and I have put on two pounds, I'm done. I'm going to go eat so much pasta and I'm going to watch Halloween movies. I'm going to watch slashers, Michael Myers, bitch, I'm coming for you in the next room in a second. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to get my pasta. I'm going to live my best. Are you ever just like in such a mood? You're like I need a shower and then I'm going to eat and I'm going to live my best, but you're so pissy about everything in your life in this moment. You're just like, like I do this thing where I walk and I'm like, so aggressive. But anyways, I'm gonna shower and I'm gonna eat. Oh, so you thought that I was kidding? Okay, that's cute. Bitch, we are ready. <laughs> I can't see. You got it. <laughs> Tell them what you just said. I said, oh yeah, you definitely lost some weight. You can tell? I can tell. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so I'm throwing a little Halloween party tonight. My DMs are like flooded with people being like, are you doing a huge party tonight? Because I know in the past, I've always done really, really big grand Halloween parties. This year I'm doing something so low key. I'm out of breath, I was just running up and down the stairs. I'm doing something so low key this year because those parties, you guys, are so expensive. Like I could buy a car. I'm at that place in my life where I'm saving 
especially because I've got Jack and Roxanne happening and obviously that's all me and my money and my investment. So I'm being a big girl. I'm not doing anything crazy. Just some food, a bartender, like a little fog, just a cute, safe place for my friends and family to come hang out, get drunk if they want an Uber home, you know? Okay, so real talk, I am finishing up getting ready for the party. I'm just so frustrated because I put on two pounds and I'm just sitting there. Even though I am doing everything right that I did to lose 13 pounds, it's so freaking frustrating. And tonight is my Halloween party. And yeah, I could totally make like better decisions and be like, I'm not gonna drink tonight. Or like, I'm, you know, gonna have a salad. No, but that's just not the case. I spent a lot of money on catering tonight and a bartender for my friends and family. And like, I'm gonna enjoy, like, I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna have a good time. I'm gonna eat. But this is the issue is I'm so hungry, you guys. Like when I was losing the most weight a couple of weeks ago, I felt like my hunger level was so low and it was like really easy not to snack. It was really easy to make good choices. I don't know what has happened the past couple of days. I'm like starving 24 seven. Like I will eat an entire meal and I'll be like, why am I so hungry? Like what is going on? What is going on? This journey is so hard and annoying. Our party starts in like an hour. So we're still setting up right now. But doesn't the lighting look so cool? We have this beautiful setup right here. It's kind of hard to see in the lighting, but these flowers are all real. We're gonna light all the candles. There's gonna be a ton of food back here. And then this entire table is gonna be a charcuterie board. <laughs> Jordan's already hungry. He hasn't eaten all day. <laughs> Sick. I'm tired. Happy, Happy Halloween. Look at these we have the priest. Are you gonna marry Jordan and I with her? I would love to. Oh, okay. I, would, I would absolutely love to. Okay. Does, does anybody have a confession? I, I, my confession is I love your mom. Oh, my stepdad looking like the king. I am the king. I gotta say, <laughs> I've always I'm tired been the king. of that shit. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow. That was terrible. Well, I see we've made it to the other end of the spectrum. We were up until five o'clock in the morning eating McDonald's breakfast. This isn't even worth the cheat. I hate it. I'd rather make myself a beautiful gourmet grilled cheese. But I'm too lazy. I'm too hungover. <laughs> I hate it. Can't complain about looking like shit after this. It is what it is. Cheers. Last time watching a Halloween movie till next year. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Damn, the hangover is real. Okay, so we are on Sunday night right now. It's like nine o'clock. My hangover is finally <laughs> dwindling away. And we are making something that we saw on TikTok because I love, love, love salt and vinegar chips and like sour cream and all that. It's turnips. So he just sliced up turnips and we're just putting some like oils and herbs on them and baking them for 15 minutes. We will see if it's any good. But I personally have been craving cheese pizza so bad. Like I can barely take it. So instead of ordering pizza, I made this for myself. It's literally a low calorie tortilla. It's like one of those like 80 calorie tortillas. And then I put mozzarella on it and then I put turkey pepperoni. It's like, Ooh. it's got a crust. Okay. Oh. But I know it's still not healthy, but it's healthier than me ordering pizza. Mmm. This is so good. Oh, the cheese. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's fire. Also, thank you for not putting your finger on my butt. You're welcome. <laughs> he says that. Because every time he bends over, I walk by and I go, whoop. He gets crazy. <laughs> okay, so update the turnip chips sucked. They were just terrible. They were so bitter and so gross. So that was a fail. So instead, I'm eating seaweed. Mmm, it's just like a Dorito. <laughs> Hi guys, and happy Monday. Look at us in our matching little flannels. Jordan definitely looks washed out in this color because he's very, very, very fair. Very, very, very fair. Uh, <laughs> Glue. The reason that we are wearing these um, is the back of them are actually embroidered. It says Jack and Roxanne. Today is a very, very exciting day because we are actually on our way to my warehouse right now. And I have my entire team there, uh, about 30 people. We're gonna be do the rip. We are gonna be doing the ribbon cutting and like the official moment of the warehouse of Jack and Roxanne of I'm in it.com. I am so excited and on top of everything, of course, the thing I'm most excited for, my badass. Oh, I forgot. So there's a food truck here in Tampa, and it's like a standstill food truck, and it's called Tacos Las Californias, and it is so damn good. It's like 30 minutes away from my house, and we make the drive there because it is so worth it. It's so fresh and so amazing. It's a Mexican food truck owned by a family, and it is, they're the sweetest people ever. 
So I DM them and I was like, would you possibly like be able to cater for me? And they're like, well, we don't typically do that, but we're gonna make an exception for you. And I was like, bitch, we love an exception around here. <laughs> so they're driving their food truck to my warehouse so that we can all have their food. And I am so excited. So major cheat is coming up. Are you kidding me? I cannot not have their nachos and their birrias tacos. That's how you say it, right? Birria, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, okay. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the warehouse. Fries or nachos, fries or nachos, fries or nachos. I'm gonna do the nachos. I made it my mind. You have no idea how excited we are to have you guys here. Oh! Oh! And honestly, I'll eat it. I don't care. <laughs> He's canceled. He's canceled. He's so canceled. If you don't cancel him, I will. Well, I dropped the taco, and you know what happens when you drop a taco? You just eat that shit. I literally feel like I'm pregnant. I'm so bloated. I haven't been this bloated in so long. Like, so much cheese, carbs. Oh my God, it was so much. I don't regret eating it because it's literally the best food. I definitely ate too much. And man, it's like when you're eating cleaner and then you eat stuff like that, it just like affects you so heavy. I'm not alone in this, right? No, I'm like second trimester right now. <laughs> It's miserable. I'm so full, I hate this. It's like you love food, but then you can't even enjoy it when you eat like that. <laughs> I'm not eating for a week. I feel like this Jacqueline's journey whole thing is just turning into like a confessional from me to you. I feel like it's like bringing out so much negativity in me, which I hate because that's not who I am. I'm in such a bad place right now, if I'm gonna be honest. I'm in such a dark place and it's so hard to talk about. It's the kind of stuff I can never talk about like on my Insta stories. I definitely don't feel like I have to like put on a show by any means, but it's like, I just try to keep things like light and fun and fresh over there. But it's like on a daily basis, I'm really struggling, you guys. I'm struggling with anxiety and depression so bad. It's so hard. It's so frustrating. It's like, I'm literally sitting in my backyard right now and I'm like, oh. Looking at my house, I'm like, look at my beautiful home. Like, look at all the things that I have. I just want my brain to be normal. And I'm sorry if that was triggering for some of you, but it just sucks. It's like, I'm so blessed and I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. But for some reason, it's like my brain just doesn't work right. And I'm just so anxious and I'm not sleeping well at night. I'm tossing and turning like crazy. I'm tired all the time. It's like, I like don't actually fall into a real sleep. It's like, I'm thinking. I'm obsessing all night long. So I finally have decided that it's time that I get help. So I actually have my first therapy session tomorrow. Oh, which is amazing. I'm grateful that I'm able to do this, but I'm also like, I can't help it. I always feel like I'm broken when I have to go to therapy. I have this like stupid thing in my head where it's like, oh yeah, look at Jacqueline, so f***ed up, you need therapy again. And it's so silly, it's so stupid, but I haven't been doing anything to take care of myself. I haven't been keeping myself hydrated. I haven't been taking my vitamins. I haven't been getting good sleep. I haven't been exercising. Uh, yesterday I ate from a food truck and then last night I said f*** it and I had a huge bowl of macaroni and cheese and two hot dogs, which is like, what do you want to call it? Like my trigger food literally what made me fat in the first place it's what put fat on my body was macaroni and cheese and hot dogs i used to eat it every single night after my lipsticks i don't know why i got done eating it and i just like felt like a piece of shit i'm like really jacqueline we're going back to this i have so many things to be happy about I'm launching my own brand this week i'm over here crying anxiety sucks depression sucks but it's real and that's it i have to go get to work and i need to make healthy choices even though i feel like this so let's get to it hi guys oh my goodness okay i have been like frantically getting ready because I have to head to the office for a couple of meetings and I'm actually going on Heather Dubrow's podcast today, which is so exciting. I'm actually watching like an old episode of The Real Housewives of OC right here, which has Heather Dubrow in it, which is weird because I've been watching it for like the past like month and a half. Anyways, she's a sweetheart. I've been on her podcast before in the past. She's so nice. So I'm excited for that. I'm like very on edge and out of breath and just like panicked because tomorrow is my launch day for Jacqueline Roxanne. So Woo. I am so excited that my guest is here today, my darling friend, Jacqueline Hill. So what made you want to do the jewelry thing? If you have followed me for a long time, you know that it's pretty much the most authentic thing I could possibly do because I love jewelry. I talk about jewelry constantly. It just kind of fell perfectly for me. It's so easy to talk to. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I am a total mess. You guys, my hair is so oily. Oh, the amount of product, the amount of dry shampoo in this bitch. Oh my God, it is disgusting. 
disgusting. I have to go hit the restart button. And when I say that, that means I have to shower. I have to shave. I have to exfoliate. I have to wash my hair. I have to tan. I have to literally do everything. Oh my God, my hair is itchy. That's how oily it is. I'm super disappointed because I got the timing mixed up for the podcast I was on today with Heather Dubrow. Because of that, I had to reschedule my first therapy appointment for next Monday, which sucks so bad because I was really upset about it when I realized um, that I got the times mixed up. But I just, I'm so ready for therapy. I'm so ready for that. But in the meantime, it is what it is. My jewelry collection launches tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh, I'm like trying to find things to do to keep my hands busy because I'm so nervous. Jordan's about to be home from work and then we're gonna go get some sushi. I gotta get out of the house, even though I was out of the house all day. I gotta get out again because I can't sit around because I'm just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, my jewelry line. Jordan and I are definitely that couple. We sit on the same side of the booth with an empty booth across from us. Look at this. So much better than to go. We just need to get out of the house. Tomorrow's a big day. We need to get out. All right, so we're on the way to the warehouse right now. My jewelry launches in 50 minutes. 50 minutes. I am like a nervous wreck. I'm trying to eat a banana. I've had two bites. Ah, I don't even have words. <laughs> Yes, I'm being a depressed asshole. I called you literally just to hype me up because I launched into 20 minutes and I'm freaking out. I just want you to tell me that I'm amazing and this is gonna be great. You're okay? You are so amazing and it's gonna be amazing. You know this bitch? I'm so scared. I'm freaking out. Why? I don't know because this isn't like Jacqueline Cosmetics or Jacqueline X Morphe. It's just me. It's gonna be freaking great. I just call it to tell you that I love you and I'm freaking out. Okay, listen, there's nothing you can do about freaking out. You can freak out all you want. At the end of the day, it is what it is and it's gonna be Fabulous. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Oh my God, I'm literally going live in 19 minutes. Ugh, okay, I'm gonna hang up. I'm gonna call you back later. I just wanted to see you. I love you so much. I love you. So Go great. work out. Don't be depressed. Go work I out. Ah! It's so close. I'm freaking out. Make the product page live. The second that I go live and I'm able to breathe, I'm eating all of this. Hi. I'm so excited. Oh, thank you, babe. Four minutes until the product is so actually live. live. But you can go look Ooh. at all the product shots wow. right now. It's 124 and no one has even been able to add any jewelry to their cart because there are so many people on the website, which obviously is a blessing, but I'm I'm so angry. I'm so furious. We have troubleshooted this for two months straight. My IT guys told me that we are 100% good to go. I've asked every question possible and now it's 25 minutes after launch and we can't even get a sale yet. So I had to come out and sit in my car for a second to breathe because I was bringing a really negative energy inside. So we've lost thousands of people on the website. People are getting angry because they wanted to shop and they can't. So we've lost thousands of people. So this is insane. I'm so upset. I just know that people are gonna be like, another fail for Jaclyn Hill. I feel stupid, embarrassed, it sucks. All right, I just got home. Um, I've been at the warehouse all day, all afternoon, I should say. I'm so angry it's past angry like i'm infuriated i saw a very very like ugly side of myself today that i'm not proud of because i'm so upset about what happened jack and roxanne my jewelry company was planned to go live at one o'clock p.m and literally at one o'clock p.m the website completely crashed we had so many people on the site if it would have gone as planned I would have broken records in the jewelry industry today, which would have been absolutely insane for me. And we've worked so hard to have a successful launch on the website. I'm just so angry because of the fact that my team is so amazing and so good to go. The product is so amazing, it's good to go. We had a like the most giant FedEx truck you've ever seen, like literally backed into my warehouse. All my employees there excited, ready to ship, like ready to pack orders. And then instead technology fails us and my website crashes. And it's just like, mm. you know what I'm saying? So as far as my journey goes, I am going to eat whatever the hell I want today. I had a huge like party plan tonight just to celebrate. I am canceling that, but I am still gonna have my family over. Yeah, I'm gonna eat pizza for the first time in a really long time. I'm gonna eat whatever the hell I want. I am so upset and I am just praying to God that I don't get torn apart for this because it's just very easy for me to be like, wow, great, another fail, Jacqueline, way to go. You are just killing it. Uh. <sighs>
going on. Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. Okay, uh, I'm just trying to keep it real with you guys. The last thing I feel like doing right now is recording myself. Oh my god, I'm literally sitting here eating pizza. This is, I feel like the world's biggest failure as far as my journey goes, because I feel like I'm just kind of right back to the past in the sense of my face is like getting bigger again. I'm eating foods that cause inflammation. I am so stressed out with what's going on in my business and I'm just so scared. And Jacqueline's journey is now just taking a turn. I haven't worked out. I just, I, I feel like a total loser right now, a total failure. I'm just keeping it real with you. I know that I will get back on track. I know that this is normal. I like, I, I know all these things. But I'm just so frustrated right now because I just want comfort food. Like I'm not eating a lot. Like I'm only eating like twice a day right now because I go from being so stressed that I can't eat to all of a sudden when I am hungry. All I want is carbs. All I want is cheese and pizza and wings and pasta and it's ugh. I used to be the person when I got stressed, I couldn't eat at all and I would lose a lot of weight and now it's totally changed as I've gotten older. So I'm just keeping it real with you. That's where I'm at. Last night I was planning on recording like my dinner and all of that, but um, instead had a panic attack. I'm trying not to think about it too much and like get myself all worked up. It's my first panic attack in three years. And when I say panic attack, I'm not talking about like, oh, I'm freaking out, but like an actual like attack where I was like walking through my bedroom and out of nowhere, like I literally felt like someone was strangling me and like air had been like, sucked out of my lungs. I couldn't breathe. I started hyperventilating. My fingers, my toes went like completely ice cold and numb. And I was wearing my Apple watch and my heart rate got up to like 155, I think it was like, and I couldn't catch my breath. And I had my family downstairs and I like re just like screamed Jordan's name. And I was just like, I fully panicked. It was horrible. I'm trying just to let that go because that's the first time in three years I've had it. And it feels like a major setback, but that's why I am starting therapy. When this vlog goes live, things will be different in a different state. But at this current time, I still haven't like talked to my followers about what's going on with JacquelineRoxanne.com. Basically didn't sleep last night. We've been trying to work out the kinks and it's just, it's so frustrating. And I'm, I have so many fears and I'm so scared. And it's like, even though it's not an issue with the product, it's triggering so many emotions in me that have to do with my lipsticks in the sense of, I'm just gonna say it. I'm so sick of like the bullshit and holding stuff back. I'm just gonna say it out loud. I am so scared that because there was an issue with my server on my website, that people are now going to be analyzing. Like they're gonna get the product and be like obsessively analyzing everything because they're gonna be like, okay, well, what else did Jacqueline Hill f Someone tweeted it to me saying that like a drama channel was like, oh, well, I'm gonna buy the jewelry just so that I can see if it turns my skin green. And I'm like, oh my God, like people are just like looking for a problem and that's to be expected. I'm traumatized from the past because something that I have never talked about, there were a couple of influencers a few years ago when I launched my lipsticks who straight up lied. I have hard proof of that being a fact, literally, got on camera on YouTube and straight up lied about my lipsticks. And then I would DM them and I'd ask them questions. And then throughout the questions, cause I'm trying to get to the bottom of it at that time, literally caught them in lies, two different influencers, big influencers. And I'm so scarred by that. I'm scared that people are gonna receive this product now and be like, you know, get a pair of tweezers and like add scratches onto it or something. You know what I'm saying? Even though my team has literally spent the last couple of months, not only receiving the jewelry, but going through every single piece tediously and making sure that it is perfect. Like my quality control is on a different level cause I'm so scarred from the past. And I'm just, I'm kind of freaking out now. I'm freaking out because I'm like, oh my God, like I know my product is great. I know my customer service is great. I know it's just a website issue, but now that I had a website issue, people are just like waiting to see me fail. And it's, oh, people just want to cancel me so hard and it sucks, but ugh, I'm so sick of feeling sorry for myself. Moving on, gotta be a boss bitch. I am so tired, you guys. That's where I'm at. And also last night for dinner, I had two pieces of pizza and a chicken wing and a lot of ranch with vegetables. Jacqueline's journey has turned into me just sitting here confessing all my problems in life. All right, and scene. Okay, so anyways, this video has definitely been a very different one for, you know, my journey in general. I'm really hoping to get back on track, but I just gotta say, when you are stressed out and going through things, how come it is so easy to make the worst food decisions? Like, haven't worked out, haven't been getting good sleep, haven't been hydrating myself, and I've literally just eaten whatever is around. My team just like orders like pizza and wings, and I just like shove it in my mouth, because I'm like, all right, you, gotta, you just gotta keep going. I would love to hear your guidance in this, you know? Also, I just announced on my socials that my website, Jacqueline Roxanne, is back up and live and ready to shop and I explained how it was under an attack specifically called a DDoS attack. I will link what that means in my bio down below if you guys are curious, but basically someone targeted me and my website to um, shut it down and it worked. And I have a ton of people, my operational manager, I have my director of sales, my director of e-commerce, like in my house right now, like brainstorming and I came out here for a second just to get some air, which is something that I have to do for my mental health. Like if I'm in like brain session meetings that last hours upon hours upon hours, I have to step outside like 10 minutes every hour, every hour and a half just to like breathe, 
recompose and go back. It's something that I've learned in my career that it's like necessary for me, otherwise my brain doesn't work. So that's that. Also, I'm about to eat pasta. And I just had a piece of pizza. <laughs> Someone come stop me.